Brian Fisher here on the brand new MJM 42, a few days before the Newport Boat Show where she will make her US debut. Pretty excited about that. Gonna give you a quick tour. So let's check out the exterior and then we'll hop on board. One thing you'll notice is this boat is the inboard version featuring the Volvo 440 horsepower DPIs. Gives you that amazing swim platform. Almost a dance floor, really. Nice door to access onto the cockpit. This boat is a beautiful color. You can see MJM is doing some amazing paintwork down in Washington, North Carolina. Look at the size of this cockpit. Of course, this is the engine compartment. Electrically opens, table plugs in in the middle, and tons of seating for eight to 10 people here. This boat is the uh, open back version, meaning there is the traditional MJM curtains that you can see through. That way you can open this boat up completely, which many people like to do. We were out yesterday and had it in this configuration and uh, it was just beautiful. Great in the uh, shoulder seasons when you don't really need to capture that air conditioning. One thing you'll notice on this boat is this long overhanging roof line. So really provides a lot of uh, rain protection as well as sun protection to a majority of the cockpit. There is a freestanding uh, sunshade that zips in on the back edge of the roof, goes all the way aft, plugs in with a couple of vertical poles right here. So it would provide sun protection from the aft edge of a swim platform all the way to that roof line. Now the signature MJM side boarding door, of course. Moving our way forward, you'll see these very large side windows. You'll see when we get on board, just amazing uh, 360 degree vision with very little um, blind spots, no eye beams, nothing to really uh, get in the way of your vision. It's, it's very light inside. There's talk of redoing this window configuration and having something more similar to the traditional MJM uh, two panel sliding. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. Moving our way forward, very secure. Again, MJM trademark, solid railing all the way around. Very nice height to provide a lot of security. We have overhead hatches, three of them in the cabin, one up here in the primary stateroom. Looking up on top of the roof, you'll see this boat has a Garmin radar, you have your proper horns, and then also a docking light instead of the uh, searchlight that used to be up on the bow. These LED docking lights uh, do, are amazing and uh, really light up your way and provide no glare. This boat also has a FLIR. These lights down here, port lights in the top sides. This is in the primary cabin. The next one aft on the starboard side is in the head and over on the port side is in the uh, sitting room. We have a nicely concealed stainless steel anchor and the windlass is down under that hatch. This boat is actually 47 feet LOA 12 foot beam, a little over 17,000 pounds displacement. And with the engines all the way up, right around 28 inch draft. So stepping aboard in the back of the cockpit, again, you see this very large seating area. The smaller hatch here gives access to the generator and a sea keeper. Dockside door, nice small step to access the rail if you need to walk forward. And again, this boat is completely open given the version that it is. If this boat had the glass hardback enclosure right over here, this square would be a solid panel of glass that would hinge, come up to the roof line. We would have a door right here that would go over and conceal itself in this space. So you'd have three quarters of this area completely open. That, the windows open, which is uh, 
one of my favorite things about an MJM, all three windows open electrically, side windows open, you would have a completely open air boat when you want it, be able to close it up and use that air conditioning, of course, when, uh, or heat, when you need that. Nice lighting overhead in the roof here. Stepping inside, you'll see this is obviously galley up version, which is the way this boat is configured. Refrigerator and freezer down low. We have a microwave and induction cooktop. It's nice to have your sink right here, whether you're uh, making some beverages for the whole boat. It's all very central to where your guests would be. Over here on the port side, really nice seating area yet again. Right now that co-pilot seat is reversed so that those folks face aft. That just very easily flips the other way, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, when you are underway. This table here is um, uh, mo removable and uh, can do double, double purpose being in the cockpit position. Many people might opt to just get two tables. Beautiful teak um, varnish here, bright work. You can see uh, the MJM woodworking department is in uh, full swing these days. North Carolina, of course, has tremendous cabinet making, furniture making, heritage, and uh, it's been a great place to get all these uh, boats built and that type of work done. So these seats are just gorgeous, electrically adjustable. This one uh, fore and aft with this electric button, just like your car. On the port side, this seat is also incredibly comfortable and this electric button um, actually adjusts the height. So. It, uh, it's quite low right now. It can raise up and be identical to the starboard side chair so that your co-pilot has a great view, can help out, and, of course, be a part of the experience. Tremendous um, sight lines, as I was saying, all the way around. 360-degree view. There are no blind spots to speak of. We have the traditional... MJM doorway here and flip up um, companionway, if you will. Traditional MJM destroyer wheel. This boat featuring the Volvo DPIs has a joystick that's very similar in, uh, in uh, actuation to an IPS boat. Uh, electronically slipping clutches. You don't even hear them when you uh, are using the joystick and uh, going between forward and reverse or one way or another causing the engines to uh, to work the transmission uh, You don't even hear it. You certainly don't feel it Variable speed bow thruster twin Garmin screens all the functions that you need here in a really nice uh, high quality um, on and off uh, panel uh, Again, there's your Volvo system we have trim tabs, which this boat hardly needs. Um, what else? Everything you need, nothing you don't. Let's head down below and see some of the features on the beautiful 42 cruising out. So as you make your way down below, quite easily from the pilot house and the helm chairs, you have this beautiful open entryway down into a wonderful, glossy, teak environment. This would be the outside of the stateroom. This would be sort of your uh, living room, if you will. Beautiful space to uh, sit and watch the built-in television. Um, just relax, do some reading. Tons of space here to lay out. There's a filler that goes into this space here. You can see little uh, cleats in the wood. And that would fill that space in and make it a very uh, comfortable extra sleeping space uh, should you have um, unexpected guests or, uh, or expected for that matter. Going forward, you see this beautiful craftsmanship, very large, thick doors. This frosted panel right here uh, easily flips over to clear so you can see straight through, making this space uh, seem seamless. Moving into the stateroom, very large queen size berth, easy access on either side. We're getting in and out. You'll see they've thought of many things, nice shelves, two shelves on the either side of the berth, fans should you need them. In addition to the air conditioning, 
light switches on both sides as well as charging ports uh, featuring USB uh, charging. We have these nice windows on the top sides. We also have a built-in television. Hanging lockers on both sides. Just look inside at the beautiful wood craftsmanship. One on both sides. Again, further light uh, port lights up here in the top of the cabin top. So from the stateroom here, we can easily access the bathroom. Which you can just see how much floor space there is here. Nice teak on your feet. And right into the shower. It's a very large shower with a nice glass enclosure. Much like you find at home. A seat. Plenty of space in here and a very large hatch overhead for ventilation. That space is also accessible for day use from this door. Moving aft from the forward stateroom, you'll see the steps going up into the cockpit, that built-in framed TV, it's a very nice feature. More storage space over here. And what we have down here is another berth. Sorry, there's a lot of uh, things stored in here right now in preparation for the boat show. But this is another, another cushioned berth, built-in TV. Grandkids wouldn't mind this. I think a lot of people would see it as a nice cozy place in an overflow situation. Otherwise, you just store things there, use this curtain to, uh, to conceal whatever, you're, whatever you have back there. So there you have it, the new MJM 42 cruising yacht. I've been working with the brand for a number of years now, uh, sold quite a few of the new as well as brokerage boats. This new 42 definitely has a lot of design um, input from the various models, namely the 43. Just a gorgeous uh, representation of the new MJM brand and construction down in North Carolina. Everything is top quality. This is hull number two. Uh, it will only get better from here, as we know, with, uh, with cars, houses, and boats. So please give me a call. I have hull number 10 on order for delivery in the early spring of 2025 and uh, available to be spec'd out and uh, colors and fabrics to your liking. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, sure look forward to talking to you. Thanks.